This is Dapu 7. We have a state of emergency in North Carolina now connected to the situation with these electric substations. We still have tens of thousands of people in the dark in a curfew underway after these two electric substations were apparently shot in a targeted attack. So they're saying that the school remains closed there, schools in Moore County, that they'll update later this evening on when they're going to reopen. But they're not expected to have power back until Thursday now. Law enforcement agencies have not identified a suspect or a motive. They held this press conference saying that they feel like this was definitely targeted. They said that it was not random while pouring cold water on unsubstantiated rumors that it was connected to the Southern Pines drag show that was supposed to take place on Saturday. There's speculation flying around that, but it's that's all that it is at this point without any other proof or evidence connecting someone to it. Now, they're saying that this is a serious incident. They go on to call the people that did this cowards because no one has claimed responsibility. They go on to say that this is going to cost millions of dollars to get the equipment replaced and back up and running. And they will let folks know as soon as possible when restoration has been put into motion fully. And uh, I've got some other images here I wanted to share with you here real quick. This shows the crime scene, so to speak. It was one of these substations like right here. And you can see here on the back end that they tore down the fencing, breaking into this area and then proceeded to shoot up the place to cripple it. So this was an attack for those that couldn't wrap their head around. All right. Hey, first and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. Let me make sure I'm on. Yep. And His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. All right. I'm going to jump right into it. This won't be long. All right. News. In, uh, as the brother said, in the news. <laughs> you got to love it. But <clears throat> please excuse me. There has been a, a massive power outage in North Carolina, right? Now, right here, it says this. It says your local briefing. Mass power outage in North Carolina caused by gunfire. Repairs could take days. OK, now you got to realize there's some parts in North Carolina that get really, really, really cold. OK, and this also shows you how delicate uh, and, and, and how, you know, ill equipped Babylon is. It, 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 how easy it is for someone to take down a power grid with with, with a gunshot. You know, a well-placed bullet can take down the power grid? Hmm. It's a little fishy, isn't it? Wouldn't you think it would be a little bit more robust than that, right? And so let's, let's go and see if there's any more information. Uh, there should be more information about it. I want to get a little bit deeper into that. And let's go ahead and hit a couple of scriptures and see what we got here. Okay, yep. Jeremiah 51 and verse 52. Wherefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will do judgment upon her graven images and through and, and through all her land that wounded shall groan. The wounded shall groan, right? All right, this place is almost finished, man. It's almost finished. Now, the scripture did say that the word shall be spoken to all four corners of the earth, and then the end shall come, right? So, hey, we're right, we're right there, right around the corner. It's right there. You see, you see what he did? He used he used a uh, yay and Kyrie Irving to do that. That sped this that sped it up a lot. Yeah, how about Shim Yasha uses whoever he wants to use? Okay. And truly, I truly believe, I, I can feel it, that Yahab Bashim Yahusha, he, you know, he may be, he may be uh, uh, winding up this ministry, you know, and and, and in a way, it's it's, it's it sort of sucks because because we we covet to teach, we love teaching, 
We love feeding the sheep and the flock, but when it comes down to it, if they, uh, he, he's the master chess player and he does what he wants to do. Remember, they're going to have no cloak for their sins, right? Verse 53, through Babylon, Salakia, through Babylon, those Salakia, though Babylon should mount up, uh, mount up to heaven and though she should uh, fortly uh, fortify, just read it right. Come on now. And though she should fortify the height of her strength. You see that? Yet from me shall spoilers come unto her, saith the Lord Yahweh. What spoilers? All right. That's all kinds of things that are happening right now. And I just went into it, you know, yesterday about, uh, you know, certain if there's EMPs going on. I believe they turned up the G technology, you know, causing everybody to be sick. And there's all kinds of things happening. All these prophecies. You know, uh, uh, you know, I, I hate to say it this way. It's sort of cliche, if you will, but are popping off the pages. And it's the truth. It is. It's the truth. It's all happening. That's why these people are going to have no cloak for their sins, because they all heard the word. They all heard it, it, it at least uh, that they, know, they should know who they are, but they didn't inquire. Yahweh Shah said, I stretched forth my hand all the day long, right? Now, these power outages, uh, it really does mean something. I believe they beta tested that in uh, down there in Texas. What was it? Uh, it was last, uh, yeah, last winter. Okay? And it wreaked havoc. It was bad. There are people, who, there are people that were, that were uh, uh, you know, being deleted or unalived, if you will, down there, trying to keep warm with grills in their houses or whatever. Verse 54, a sound of a cry cometh from Babylon and great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans. See that? Because the Lord Yahweh have spoiled Babylon and destroyed out of her the great voice when her waves do roar like great waters and noise of their voice is uttered. That's beautiful. Verse 56, because of the spoiler is come uh, uh, upon her even upon Babylon and her mighty men are taken. Every one, their bow is broken for the Lord Yahweh, our power of, of recompense. See of recompense shall uh, surely uh, requite, re requiet. Okay. Let's move on. Now, if you remember, <clears throat> Salakia, you had Biden, Talking about that dark winter, you know, in, in the context that he was speaking of, he was talking about, you know, that uh, 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 C1 to the Niner, 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 right? You know what I'm talking about. But that could also be equated to what? Power outages. You see? He said, what did he say? Dark winter? Dark winter begins. Next phase of next phase, they sit there and they tell you what they're doing. They tell you. Next phase, digital pandemic. Uh, what a digital pandemic. And what, what could that bring? The famine of the word. You see? Something in my spirit has been telling me that. You see, millions of people around the world got a very small taste of what can happen when technology fails. On Monday, when most of the, uh, of the Google network went down and people could not access their Gmail email accounts, YouTube videos and many other Google services. Now, so this was, you see, almost everything is, oh, let's go back up to the top here. Almost everything uh, predicted hmm, during that uh, event 201. So it sounds like this, they did it on purpose. So, uh, 201 simulation, uh, simula simulation has now actually happened except for one thing, uh, uh, the uh, internet blackout. Wow. So there you go. Million, uh, and let's read this again. Millions of people got a very small taste of what can happen when the technology fails on Monday. Google accounts and you know, Google services and all that. Right. Right. So I don't know what this is right here. So let's go to the family of the word. Let's go there. There we go. Amos 8 verse 11. Behold, the days shall come. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, our power that I will send a famine in the land. And that's happening too. And all, these, all these things are going to compound upon themselves. Don't forget the MOT to the BBBB is coming. 
Okay? All right? That I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh. See that? But of hearing. That's why he said what? Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Okay? Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Most High Yahweh, okay? And shall not find it. You know, they're going to be they're gonna be saying, where's, where's that loud, that loud crazy dude with the big old beard? What was he talking about? Do you remember? What was the, what was the names? Where's he at? You know, where, where are those dudes at? Where are all those dudes at to stand on the corner that, uh, that everybody used to yell at all the time? We thought they were crazy. You see? That's go it's going to happen. Okay? And, and a lot of that's actually happening right now. My little brother. As a matter of fact, I'll give you a quick testimony. My little brother, you know, he bucked up against his truth for years now. You know, ever since I came in, he always, he always had questions. And he had some good questions. But he didn't really want to hear the answer. You know what I'm talking about? You understand. I'm sure you do. You, we've all been there. But the last time I spoke with him, he was very receptive. And I think he was starting to understand some of the things, you know, that I was that I was saying. They're happening. And he can see that, you know, so call Hello Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for letting him see that. And hopefully, you know, he can repent and be a part of the elect. You know, if it's Lord's will, Yahweh Rat Nazar, right? Same with me. Same with the rest of you uh, brothers and sisters, man. You know, that are in this for truth and sincerity. Just we can get the hell up out of here. This place is terrible. Okay, let's go here. It's crazy, man. It's crazy that uh, the whole grid can be brought down by a bullet, you know? And you know, <laughs> I don't know if you know anything about North Carolina, but these these rednecks right here in North Carolina, they got plenty of guns, okay? Let's go here. Psalms 19 and verse 2. But day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. Day and night, meditate day and night on these scriptures. All right. Verse three, there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. See that there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Now, what's going to what, now what's going to happen when the, uh, the end, when the Internet goes down, when the interweb goes down, if you were a unicorn. Right. And you have no electricity. There's going to be no way to hear the word. There's going to be no way to hear it. You see? See that right there, man? Brothers are putting up massive amounts of videos. It's beautiful. What does it say right here? Let's read it again. Verse 2, Psalms 19, verse 2. Day unto night other spe uttereth speech, and uh, and night unto night showeth knowledge. And that's, hey, that's what brothers are doing, man, daily. Okay? Daily and nightly, if you will. So let's read this again. Verse three, there is no speech nor language where the voice is not heard. You know, hey, uh, Elder just sent me a video of a brother down in uh, Brazil. You know, he said he'd been in the truth for, uh, you know, about a year and a half now. And, he, you know, he's either wanting to start a camp or, or uh, you know, was getting ready to start a camp. And you could hear the zeal on the, on the brother's voice. It's be it was beautiful. It's, it's a must watch. Okay. Down there in Brazil, man. The four corners of the earth, and then the end shall come, right? Verse 4. Their line is going out through all the end of the earth, and the words to the uh, end of the earth, and the words to the end of the world. And them have he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoiceth as a strong man to run the race. You see, the word is gone out. It's gone out. More and more people, uh, more and more people walking up, inquiring. More and more people, you know, even uh, even scoffers and mockers. Y'all the Israelites. It, it's, look, it's them. You know, whether they believe, understand it or not. 
they uh, um uh, how do you put it what's the what's the phrase they uh uh they recognize it they see okay we're out there and and you know what this word uh, through Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is winning it's winning it appears to be an intentional willful and malicious act <laughs> As officials work to determine the motive, speculation is circulating over whether the vandals targeted the area because of a drag show taking place nearby. Planners, already worried about potential violence, had extra security. Speculation is circulating over whether the vandals targeted the area because of a drag show taking place nearby. Planners, already worried about potential violence, had extra security in place. While officials say there is no direct evidence, they are investigating every possibility. All right, so yeah, again, upon doing a little more research, I stopped the video to do a little more research about that so-called festival or whatever. So I put that, you know, that little clip in there right there. Come to find out it's an LGBC3PO. See? Mm-hmm. Because of their pride, right? You see that? You know, and, hey, and again, here in North Carolina, these rednecks don't play that. They, they don't. They don't really like that kind of thing, man. You know, it's just it is what it is. You got you have certain you have certain Edomites, you know, that uh, that are down with that type of uh, abomination. And you got certain Edomites that are not, you know, Egyptians shall be against Egyptian, as it says in the scripture. All right. So let's go here. I need to stop saying all right so much. I'll try to work on that. Second Esther 15 verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. See? Okay? So again, it was said that that, you know, there, you know it's all speculation. But see, they know how people are in, uh, in North Carolina, especially uh, places like Monroe County. Okay? These rednecks don't they don't want that kind of thing around, man. They just don't. All right? You know, and I can yeah, I second that emotion. You know what I'm saying? I second that emotion. Damn all that. All right, verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a lucky for that. Verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able for their, for what? For verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and the men, and the men shall be afraid. You see that? That's, that's just very interesting. That scripture popped right in my head as I was seeing that little clip. That's just very interesting. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and great tribulation and all this is coming. You've been told all this is coming. You see, and these scriptures, uh, quite frankly, are comforting to his hopeful elect. Very, very comforting, man. All right. So get ready. Getting ready. Get ready. Let's go. Hopefully this lesson was edifying. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Chant this place down every chance you get. DTA and Kwam Yashirala Wa Ababa Ball. Boom! Shalom.